Gahan is a Jordanian national. Gahan's husband is stateless. If she has a child, the child will be stateless too. مستحيل إني أجيب بابي لأنه الظروف اللي رح يخلق معها البابي رح تكون كتير ظروف صعبة إله. ما بقدر أخذ ابني لإلي يعني جنسية ابني لجوزي مش لإلي. ما بقدر يتملك ما بقدر ينحط أي شيء باسمه ما بقدر يدخل مدرسة ما بقدر يدخل جامعة يعني حتى إذا بدي أحطه بالحضانة رح أنسأل عن عن وين الرقم الوطني تبع الولد. فأنا رح أصفي كل حياتي متعذبة عشان أنا جبت هذا الولد عشان أنا أعذبه. Jordan is one of 27 countries where mothers are prevented from passing their nationality to their children. Gahan's husband is one of approximately 12 million people worldwide who are stateless, with no country to call home. Stateless people are not recognized as nationals of the countries where they live. As a result, they are denied basic human rights. For many people, this is the result of gender discrimination and nationality laws. Unjust laws prevent women from acquiring, changing, retaining, or passing on their nationality to their children and or their spouses on an equal basis with men. In 2013, the Women's Refugee Commission released a report about this. We conducted research in Kuwait and Jordan, countries that still maintain gender discrimination in their nationality laws. We also visited Morocco and Egypt, which have enacted legislation to address statelessness. At least a dozen countries around the world, including several in the Middle East and North Africa, have changed their laws in the past decade. Children in those countries now have the right to inherit their mother's nationality. This has brought real benefits to families in which children would otherwise be left stateless. Morocco is one such country. قبل الجنسية المعادية كان بيقولوا هم دائما في مش مشكلة بيقولوا هم أجانب مدام عندهم جنسية مغربية يعتبرون مغاربة قبل هالقانون ما كانت عندي جنسية مغربية كنت بحس كأني غريبة شوي على الآخرين بس الحمد لله صار فيني to build on this progress, the Women's Refugee Commission has launched an international campaign to end gender discrimination in nationality laws. We are leading the charge with the support of a coalition of international organizations, NGOs, and academic institutions. We are campaigning for legal reforms in the 27 countries where nationality laws prevent mothers from passing on their nationality to their children. The goal of the campaign is to convince governments to amend their nationality laws to allow women the same rights as men to pass on their nationality to their children and non-national spouses. These families must have the basic rights to access education, health care, employment, and identity and travel documents. <laughs>